Hi, I'm Gene Chen, Yokogawa Stardom Product Manager. Thanks for joining me today to review the Stardom Liquid Library. In this session, we're going to review the metric base function blocks that's based on the API MPM liquid oil correction factors. Specifically, these algorithms were based on the API MPM Chapter 11.1 algorithms. And we're going to go ahead and review those today, and I'll show you a spreadsheet where we're, we'll compare the results that are published in the API MPM standard, the different test cases, and the results of those test cases, compare those against actually calculated values uh, generated by the stardom function block. So let's first go ahead and look at the first algorithm. Uh, we've already done 11.1.6.1. We've covered that in a prior video. We also covered 11.1.6.2. Uh, that's correcting a volume and density from observed conditions to customary conditions. And we've covered 11.1.6.3, which um, corrects for a volume and density from observed conditions to alternate conditions, other than customary base conditions. And these three algorithms are all based on customary base. This next set of three that we're going to cover today is all based on metric base conditions. And basically, there are mirrors of the, the subsection six algorithms. This subsection seven, basically the first one here, 11.1.7.1 is a method to correct volume and density from observed conditions to alternate conditions. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. If I open up my little spreadsheet here, this spreadsheet, just as before, it's an OPC client to the Stardom OPC server, and the OPC server communicates with the Stardom controller. So if I bring up the control environment, you can see I've already set up the controller to have the different function blocks in it. So this is the 11.1.7.1 algorithm. And you can see on the spreadsheet that they match up the titles. And I've already pre-configured the spreadsheet to have the test case scenarios for all the examples. And I'm going to try to fit all those into this one video, try to shorten it up. You can hit the pause button if you want to, if you want to cross-reference every single output and see how that looks in the controller. So if I go ahead and select the uh, Example 1 button, you can see that the function block now populated, generated results. Those results then are written back into the Excel spreadsheet, and you can see that they now match perfectly here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through all the test cases uh, that are not testing the bounds. There's multiple test cases in the different scenarios, and towards the end of the scenarios, the test cases look for the um, checking of the pressure and temperature and density ranges to make sure the algorithm throws an error if you go outside the range of which the algorithm was designed to handle. But in this case, I'm only going to test the, the t this test scenarios where actual results are generated for the correction volume correction factor due to pressure, temperature, and showing the results of the output density and volume. You can see this one matches. So we went on to example four. And you can see, again, test results match. And as, if, as I'm going through this example, you can also study the uh, function block off on the right-hand side here. As I press this button, you see that those uh, inputs and outputs are calculated and new results are generated. OK. So this is the sixth example. You can still see that there's a high degree of precision in these algorithms. And then, of course, we use these algorithms to then uh, generate net oil computations and water cut computations uh, for flow, flow calculations, correcting flow calculations uh, in a net oil computer, um, in hydrocarbon uh, custody transfer situations. And these can actually be uh, applied to non-petroleum uh, applications as well, but then, then some modifications would have to be done uh, in terms of the algorithms, in terms of handling the density of that kind of fluid. This, these API and PM calculations are actually designed specifically for uh, crude oil, uh, refined oil, and lubricating oil. OK, so that concludes the test for 11.1.7.1. So if I go back and we can look at the next test, 
we've also implemented another algorithm for 11.1.7.2. This function block algorithm covers the a method to correct volume and density from observed conditions to alternate conditions. And this is probably one that's going to be most common, commonly used by uh, most of the end users. So I go back to my spreadsheet and bring up my controller view and then I scroll over in the controller environment to the next algorithm here that I've set up which is 11.1.7.2 we can go ahead and run through these test cases as well. So first I'll select the first test case. You can see that the controller information changed, the Excel spreadsheet updates, and we have identically matching uh, results here. And again, I'll just go ahead and go through each of these test cases quickly. You can hit the pause button on the video viewer and match up each of the different outputs and inputs to make sure that they all lined up to your satisfaction. And then in, you can even do a custom test with me. Just give me a call or contact your local rep and we can either have you come out to Yokogawa's um, headquarters or we can go out to your facility and do a review with you of the algorithm and do a demonstration. Um, we can even use inputs that you've devised for tests that you've devised using your numbers instead of just the API tables. Okay, this is example six. And then example seven. And again, I'm just kind of given a little bit of time here to allow you to review these, making sure they all match up. And I'll go through each and every uh, example that's listed in the API test scenarios until we get to the what I'll call the error condition testing or stress testing which just basically is testing the limits of the algorithm making sure that the algorithm shows um, generates an error when uh, you go beyond the limits okay here's example 10 I think we only got a few more to go before we hit the error limit. So there we go. So now we've hit the error condition limits. And so I'll go ahead and go to do a review of API MPM 11.7.3. The API MPM 11.1.7.3 algorithm is a method to correct volume and density from observed conditions to alternate conditions. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Excel spreadsheet and bring up the controller um, controller environment and we can view these test cases as we walk through them. So I'll go ahead and select the first test case and you can see that they identically match and I think what I'll do here this is a longer function block because I'm generating a bunch of uh, intermediary um, values for correction factors correcting to base conditions, um, customary base conditions as well as metric based conditions and so if you use this function block you can actually enter in um, either metric or customary units, so degrees Fahrenheit, degrees Celsius, PSI, kilopascals, bars, and you have a variety of uh, options available to you. But in order to blow the screen up to see the actual values, it's hard to see the whole block. I'm just going to show the output values here so that you can see what's calculated as we step through the examples. Then you can match those up. It's, to get, it's basically just to give you confidence that, hey, something has happened in the controller and we are indeed generating um, these values and displaying them uh, on the examples. So this is example two. Let's see, I'll show you the example here a little bit. I'll have to scroll down so you can see all the values. And then moving on to example three. You can see that the volumes here matches the volume here, the alternate volume, corrected volume. Go to example four. You can see that the corrected alternate volume matches in each case. Again, you can pause the video and 
look at it, each and every one to see that they all match up. But I wanted to make sure that you could have the confidence of seeing these in the video. And just as before, I'm only going to go through the test cases that generate actual correction factors and densities. I'm not going to go through the examples in this video of the error conditions or the range end of range conditions. Okay. Let's see if that matches. Go through the eighth example here. You can see that they match out. I think we're getting close to the. Yeah, and that was the last example. It's eighth. These other examples are error conditions. And again, if you contact me or your local Yokogawa um, sales rep, we can do either a WebEx or come out to your facility. I um, have a section in, in the spreadsheet where you can tear in your own custom values. So, this is, so that's basically how the spreadsheet works uh, for, t for testing. I've shown you the function blocks over here in the controller environment. And I hope this uh, gives you some confidence in our uh, library. You have some experience of what the values outputs that we provide and the high degree of precision that the startup controller can provide with the liquid calculations and corrections. Thanks again. I'm Gene Chen. And thanks for joining me for reviewing the liquid calculations.